over in Australia, jailed for 20 years over the killing of her four children. An Australian mother was acquitted on Thursday after scientific breakthroughs helped clear her name. Kathleen Folbig was convicted in 2003 of killing her children, who died suddenly between 1989 and 1999. Once dubbed Australia's worst female serial killer, Folbig fought for over two decades to prove her innocence. She was pardoned earlier this year after it was found they had died of natural causes. I am grateful that updated science and genetics has given me answers as to how my children died. However, even in 1999, we had legal answers to prove my innocence. They were ignored and dismissed. The system preferred to blame me rather than accept that sometimes children can and do die suddenly, unexpectedly and heartbreakingly. I think the system and society needs to think before they blame a parent of hurting their children. Folbig was convicted of murdering her three children, Patrick, Sarah and Laura, as well as manslaughter of her son, Caleb. The children were aged between 19 days and 18 months. The circumstantial case against Folbig relied heavily on her anguished diary entries. Prosecutors claimed they showed admissions of guilt. Folbig was found guilty of smothering and suffocating the children despite a lack of forensic evidence. Scientific breakthroughs in recent years uncovered rare genetic mutations and co-genital defects that helped explain the sudden deaths. The Australian Academy of Science, that had some of the country's most eminent researchers, became an influential champion of her case. If science welcomes today's decision, by the Court of Criminal Appeal to quash the convictions of Kathleen Folbig. But make no mistake that without law reform, these sort of uh, miscarriages of justice will continue. Although there was evidence in 2019, new scientific evidence, there were myth science, basic scientific principles were not adhered to from the time of trial. Folbig was released from prison earlier this year after winning an unconditional pardon from the Governor of New South Wales. But she had to go through a separate legal process to have her convictions officially overturned by the New South Wales Court of Criminal Appeal. Folbig's lawyer said the decision has now opened the door to a substantial claim for compensation. Um, I'm not prepared to put a figure on it yet, um, but what I will say it will be substantial. Uh, I'm not prepared to put a figure on it, but it will be bigger than any substantial payment that has been made before.